my babes hi sunnies welcome back to my channel if you are new then welcome to my channel it is day back again with another video for y'all so today babes we are going to be doing a get ready with me video for cinco de mayo night i'm about to get ready to go out with my bestie and as you can see um i'm looking a little crusty not as crusty as i was a minute ago because we just did some um hygiene hygiene is very important like y'all need to take a bath before you go out i just I can't stress that enough. Please do not go to the club being stank. Like, don't nobody like that. Take you a bird bath, which we just did. So I use my Dove to freshen up, take a little bird bath. I wash my face. Um, I brush my teeth, very important. Please brush your teeth before you go out, trying to mix and mingle with people. Always take gum with you as well. Um, and then I also just moisturize my body using coconut oil. You guys know that this is my holy grail. I love me some coconut oil. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at now. So hopping into the video, you guys will be getting ready with me to do my hair, my makeup, and getting dressed as far as my outfit. Um, so first things first, before I start my makeup, I'm just kind of like putting my hair back because we're going to go ahead and spray my lace with this um, Fantasia Olive Spritz. And then we're gonna use the elastic band to melt it down while I do my makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this so that it can be on for about 10 to 15, really 10 to 20, cause you want your lace to be secure. You don't know if it's hot in the club. You don't know if you got a fight, you don't, you don't know nothing. So I'm just going in and I'm just spraying it literally in between the baby here, like this little part right here. And then the front, just to make sure it's super glued down and super melted um once i get ready to leave so notice how i didn't put it exactly on the baby here just in between right here so it's right here and i'm literally just gonna do it as tight as i possibly can so my hair is gonna look a little weird for a couple of minutes but that's fine because we're moving on to makeup so next what i'm gonna do is get rid of these glasses and we're going to put contacts in so that i can do my makeup properly so i'll be right back Okay, contacts are in. I just feel like they need a minute to like adjust, but the contacts are in, hair is laid down. We're about to move on to the makeup and let's just talk about my cute little comfy robe. Like, I love this little silk robe and it has like the lace on there for the extra like flirty effect. I got this from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. It is a four piece set. So it comes with the robe, the shorts, a little bra top and undies. Like it's crazy, it's so cute. So what I'm using to prime my face personally is coconut oil because I told you guys it's my holy grail. So I'm just adding some moisture because my skin is relatively really dry. Okay, so now we're about to go in with makeup and today I just feel like I want to do like a simple basic look. Um, I don't know, I don't want to do too much and I don't want to experiment. I just kind of want to stick to what I know today. So we're going to do like a 10 to 15 minute beat, um, kind of my usual. So what I do first, after I put some coconut oil on my face to help with my dryness, cause I have dry skin, I have eczema, I'm gonna go in with the Airspawn first and I'm just gonna slather that all over my face. Put it all over your face, literally, and it doesn't matter if it's kinda like white, cause you see how it's making my face kinda like ghostly. Um, it doesn't matter cause we're about to cover it up with foundation. I found that this method just really helps me um, with my makeup. I don't know what it is, but this method is it, okay? And I actually got this from my bestie. So I'm gonna take my foundation, which is in this little container. I, um, I created a concoction because I can't like find my exact color. So I kind of have to like make my color and like mix it up. But I'm gonna take some on a brush and just kind of paint it on. So yeah, we painted it on. And what I'm gonna do is take my Beauty blender, which is dirty from the last time that I used it. Don't be like me, wash your uh, beauty blenders. But yeah, so I'm gonna take this beauty blender and I'm gonna damp it and I'm pretty much just gonna go in and beat my face. But while I'm doing this, I just wanna say how excited I am to do this get ready with me video. Um, I haven't done like a full on get ready with me in a while. Usually it's because I'm always rushing because I'm always late. Um, today is no different, but I did remember to pick up my camera today. That is the only if difference. So the next thing I'm gonna tackle is my eyebrows cause it kind of takes me a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do these. You use this brush to brush them out, of course, brush them up. And then I'm going to take my brow pomade LA girl and this little ankle brush and I'm gonna fill them in. 
Okay, now that I've done my eyebrows, sort of, kind of, I feel like they battling me today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little highlight and contour. So of course you do highlight in your T-zone, which is your chin, forehead, going down the nose. And then of course you want to put some, um, that is way too much. But yeah, of course you wanna put some um, under eye concealer. I put way too much on the other side. I need to figure out how to fix that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little contour palette I got from Ulta, I believe. And I'm just going to put it here under my cheekbones. And I'm always so self-conscious about my contour in particular because I always just feel like the lines are so harsh. So I try to make sure it's there and pigmented, but it's also very blended. So it doesn't just look like a dark line, you know? So I'm very self-conscious about contour. Plus I really just started to contour. So I definitely feel like I'm not um, a master of it or I don't really know how to do it that well to my face. Then I just go in with another, with another beauty blender, which is dirty, don't be like me. Um, and then just go in and kind of blend everything out. I'm super excited about tonight. I love festive holidays. Like any excuse to be festive, I'm down with it. I love themes. Like I wish I had a sombrero to wear tonight cause that is so me. Um, but I absolutely love going out on festive nights like St. Patrick's Day and Cinco de Mayo every year. I'm here for it. I wanna do something. So um, we are going out tonight. Of course we need to drink tequila because like Cinco de Mayo, like why would you not drink tequila? Not my bestie calling me, y'all. She calling me. <laughs> hey girl, hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Been so long for me. So cheap and your flex so deep. Sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Hey. You got it, girl. You So I just got to phone my bestie, she's on the way. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the glue on the lashes and then kind of just finish up the look. I'm pretty much done. Um, I just need to figure out what lip color I want. And then I think I'm gonna add some black um, under my eye cause I think my outfit is black tonight. And yeah, I'm super excited. I love um, festive holidays as I was saying. And I don't know, I just feel like very like optimistic. I don't know why, but. <laughs> I'm always just like excited to have a good time and meet new people that I vibe with and I like. It don't happen all the time. Obviously life is crazy, people crazy, but it makes me so excited when those moments do happen. All right, so next I'm gonna take this Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray. Love this so much. This and that Urban Decay, baby yes. I spray definitely more than what I usually spray, but I just really want my, I really want to look like put together today because I'm supposed to be meeting somebody that's between me. You're supposed to be meeting somebody and you know, when you meeting somebody for the first time, you first impressions are everything. So you can't be looking crazy. You gotta look top notch all the time, period. So yeah, um, this is what it's looking like laid and we are about to get ready to flat iron my hair. But first I just want to finish this makeup look. So, so I have a lot of options as far as lip gloss. I don't know what combo I wanna do, so I feel like I need to think about it. My outfit, I think it's because I haven't chosen an outfit is why I don't know what lip yet. So I'm gonna ponder on what lip color I want, or I might just do my lips once I get dressed and that way I can kind of see like how I'm feeling or what type of vibe I'm giving off. So for the under eye, cause I kind of am going for like a siren, dark feminine type of look. I love putting like a tiny bit of black 
eyeliner under my eye i just feel like it gives you such a i don't know like baddie vibe so i'm just gently going on the bottom lash line okay so that's what it's looking like with a little bit of black eyeliner i feel like i put just a little more than what i wanted but i do like that look especially when the lashes are on there it really just makes me feel like i don't know if you guys have seen jennifer's body but like a man eater like the pretty girls who like attract men but you will like rip their heads off and eat them like so yeah it gives me like siren vibes i don't know why but so that's what it's looking like with the eyes i don't know if you guys can tell with this lighting but that's what it's looking like i'm about to add the lashes i got the flat iron going and i'm starting to panic a little bit because my friend is on the way at first it wasn't that bad because i was like oh i got time you know like she's not even driving but she's driving now so i'm starting to panic a little bit i told you guys i'm always late i'm late to everything if you want me to be on time you have to tell me two hours in advance before the event is actually happening so if you want me there at eight you got to tell me six that's just how i operate i don't know why it's something that i'm working on is being better with time but as of today nah it's not better <laughs> it's not better do you guys use tweezers the girls who still wear um strips i feel like i'm like the only one because everybody's doing the extensions but if you guys still wear strips do you guys use your fingers or tweezers let me know down below i've never been able to use tweezers i've always just been able to do it with my hand i don't know how do you how, like, how do y'all do it with the tweezers i don't know okay so this is what the lashes um there's a lot of glue on this one let's ignore that but you guys see what i was saying about the eyes i don't know if you guys like it or what but i think it looks so cute with the black under eye and then when you add lashes it just really makes your eyes kind of pop um my eyes are on the smaller side so i just feel like it might be even cuter if you have like a wider eye i don't know but if you haven't tried the black eyeliner at the bottom then try it babes life changer game changer okay so next what we're gonna do um since i haven't decided on a lip color yet is do my hair and all i want to do is wear it straight down so i'm just gonna pass through it a few times and I do have a video of me installing this hair. It will be out soon. I actually did this wig myself. I reconstructed it and added the um, coloring in it. So you guys will get to see all of that in that video. If you guys like this hairstyle. But all I'm going to do is take it section by section. Not kind of small sections, but not too big. And just go through. Because the hair is not horrible. I just want it a little bit straighter than what it is now because it has a few like bumps in it from my bonnet i'm excited to go out i'm excited to turn up i haven't been to like an actual club in a very long time i don't even like the club but sometimes you know when you ain't been somewhere in a while or you haven't had something in a while then you want it i don't know i can't explain it but i'm very excited to go out today and also earlier today i had my last final so i think that's really where it's coming from is that i've been kind of stressed about school and being that today was the last day and i can kind of just woosah relax turn up get lit with my bestie i think that's kind of where my excitement is stemming from so yeah this is how the hair is turning out it's nothing special i just wanted it a little bit more straighter so i'm gonna finish my hair and then i'm gonna come back so that we can get dressed because time is a ticking i got people asking me where i'm at where i'm at i'm starting to panic the anxiety is kicking in so let me go and then i'll be right back once we start getting dressed the hair is done um now i'm going to pick out an outfit so that i can put something on my lips because it, they just look so ghostly right now like i look crazy i had this one outfit in mind let me go get it and i'm gonna show you guys real quick so this is my first option and this is like a super trendy outfit everybody's already like kind of worn it and i just haven't had anywhere to wear it to because it's literally like see-through so a club is like the only place i can ever think about wearing this so this is an option just because it's something that i haven't worn yet with black heels or this but i just feel like this is like a safe go-to because it's cute it's form-fitting it shapes your body whatever but i've already worn it like three times and i don't know so yeah this is the other little bodysuit 
I just feel very limited because of my hair. Like, I don't know. I'm just very big on certain things go with certain hair. So I'm not about to wear like a purple dress in this. Like, I don't know. It just, it don't, it don't sit right with me. So I'm going to try this outfit on with the undergarments and see, I guess, like how exposed or how I feel in it. And we're just going to go from there. If I do wear this, I was thinking red lipstick, but I don't know if I want to be that um, dramatic tonight. But like, also, why not? I don't know. But I'm going to try this on and then we're going to see if I want to wear this or the other bodysuit. Girl, I feel like a spider. I feel like, like Doja Cat in that one video where she was a spider. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm going to be wearing. I did decide to wear the first outfit just because... I haven't worn it before, so this is the vibes. I put black undergarments under and I just didn't want like team too much. So I tried to do like a solid piece for the body and then just have my arms and legs out because this outfit is a lot, like it's a lot. And then the fact that all of this is going on, yeah, I just wanted to have a little modesty somewhere. Um, but this is the look I am wearing. Juvia's place this red lipstick my um, cousin and my mom said red would make this outfit really pop so I'm doing all black with a pop of red um, and then this is the purse and the fragrance of the night is ebony wood which I'm gonna spray on now and I think I'm also gonna take this with me because I love it but it does kind of wear off I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all um, it's not an expensive perfume it's only $19.90 so I guess you shouldn't expect it to last forever, but it smells really good um, when you first put it on. Spray it on my arms and kind of on my neck behind my ear. So yeah, we're gonna take that with us. And I also wanna mention that I did my press-ons literally before the video too, and this is how they're looking. Very cute and square, very much classy. <laughs> I'm always try to get you classy, but at the end of the day, I'm just a hood, period, like Carisha said. So that is everything, and this is how I'm looking tonight. My bestie is outside, so I am going to go ahead and head out. Um, I'm going to get her to get a video of me full body so you guys can see the whole fit with the heels and everything. So hold on. get ready with me while I go out for Cinco de Mayo. If you guys want me to do more get ready with me's, then please let me know down below in the comments. So this is the end of the video and we're gonna go ahead and close it out for the night. I'm so ready to take my makeup off, oh my God. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and also turn that post notification bell on so the next time that I drop a video, babes, you'll be notified. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram for daily content. You don't want to miss that. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much.